are now tuned in to the real news behind the news. Bringing truth to light and exposing the deception behind the mainstream media while matching headlines with the prophecy of the scriptures. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is your boy Rod Thomas Jr. And this is the real news behind the news. Your boy. Hi. Well, trying to get that cool. Anyway, this your boy, Rod Thomas Jr. And this is the real news behind the news. Oh, uh, yeah, man. The day is what? June 2nd, 2023. A beautiful Friday. And real briefly, man, I got to real be real briefly because y'all see that big old pile right there? That bitch was four times that time, two days ago. I, I got to do the landscaping, and thus far, this is what I got. Let me show y'all what I got thus far, but this ain't what this video is about. I got to take this pile and do this, that, and all this shit around there. But I'm doing it because that's my job. Instead of complaining about it, I'm doing it. But anyway, let me, let me, I'm going to say real briefly. What? What the fuck is going on with America and our politics? A lot of people like to say we like to keep things local, and that's true. You're more effective, effective locally when it comes to politics than you are nationally. But nationally, we got to ask the question. What's going on with that Alzheimer's patient in the White House? Do y'all realize you got a, a Alzheimer's patient as the president of the United States, which leads me to ask the question, if this man cannot walk off a motherfucking stage, he's falling everywhere he go. Did y'all know that man shitted on himself in front of the Pope? Oh, y'all brought it. Y'all didn't hear about that. Your president of the United States cannot walk off a fucking stage because he's so old. He can not hold his bile because, again, he shitted on himself in front of the Pope. But this man is taking, they finna give the Ukraine another $300 million of your money. So should we trust a person who cannot even walk off a motherfucking stage without falling? And then, y'all didn't hear about this probably in the mainstream news, as he was, after he fell yesterday at the Naval Academy, I think he was at the Naval Academy, getting on a helicopter, he hit his head. Now, I'm going to be real. I didn't, I didn't roll the helicopter because when I work offshore, uh, bitch, I know how much gigabytes I use. That's what I pay y'all for. Anyway, that's the phone. <laughs> anyway, you got an Alzheimer's patient. And reason why this is so significant, y'all, and you got to understand what goes on in the world to understand what's happening in your neighborhood. Look at all the poverty, hunger, hunger homelessness. Um, lack of health care. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, you got veterans that done fought in these illegal wars who can't even get motherfucking the right care for their post-traumatic. You got all this shit going on. And it's controlled by Alzheimer's patient who cannot even walk off a fucking stage but finish sending another $300 million to the Ukraine to fight a war. Do y'all understand what, what I'm saying? Your president shitted on himself in front of the Pope. Falling down everywhere he go, he's falling upstairs. Instead of falling down the stairs, this nigga, your president is falling up the stairs. But he's in control of this illegal war that's going on. Y'all like to call it a Russian invasion? No. We got, well, let's go back, take it back to, uh, to Barack Obama. That's when that war really started in Ukraine. But do y'all realize it's an escalated now to the point where you have United States weapons being sent to the Ukraine and have that shit turning up in Mexico. Do y'all, did y'all hear about that story? Weapons that were supposed to be in Ukraine, Mexican drug cartels got them now. Oh man, this thing gets so deep. I'm about to do a, a special video tonight. Let me get back over here. Let me, I'm looking at all this goddamn moats I gotta do. 
Man, y'all give me a minute. Let me get back to work. But I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back, man. Because this is serious. You are about to see World War Three, and we here in America are too busy with TikTok and all this other dumb shit, Facebook, uh, YouTube, all this entertainment, but we're not being informed. You got an Alzheimer's patient finna send us to World War Three, and ain't nobody paying attention to that shit.